Eight million dollars. That is the total a jury awarded the families of two Virginia Tech shooting victims. But they say it does little to erase the wounds of that April 7th, uh, April morning in 2007. Ten on your side's Jason Marks says reaction from both sides in today's case. Jason. Alveda, it's hard to put a price tag on life, but the jury ruled Tech officials should have done more on April 16th. The jury believed if that would have happened, lives could have been saved. She always put herself in a position to speak for people who were too weak to speak for themselves. She couldn't speak anymore, so we had to do it. Celeste Peterson wanted to make sure her daughter's death wasn't in vain. Aaron Peterson was one of 32 Virginia Tech students gunned down almost five years ago. Five years later, a jury ruled that Virginia Tech was responsible for her death. You know that something could happen to harm uh, the kids, just let them know. Peterson was only a freshman when the shooting happened. She died inside Norris Hall. So did engineering student Julie Pride. Both the Peterson and Pride families opted not to settle with the university and instead go to court. They were the only families to do so. We were looking for some truths for a long time. We didn't think that all the truths had been uttered, and so we persevered with this court case, as did the Petersons, and we were looking for some accountability, and so we got some bit of accountability today. Jurors found the university negligent for not warning the campus earlier about the gunman. It took the jury three and a half hours to make the decision. If you go all the way back, you know, from the beginning with the, with the kid, you know, they never did what was right. And that's what happens when you don't do your job. Tech officials disagreed with the verdict, saying there was no way anyone could have predicted the mass shooting. We are disappointed in the jury's verdict. We believe that we demonstrated beyond question that the crime that was committed in Norris Hall was unforeseen and that it was unforeseeable. The seven-person jury in Montgomery County awarded each parent of Peterson and Pride two million dollars in total the jury awarded damages of eight million dollars now there is a state law that requires paying up to only one hundred thousand dollars in damages but the families are looking for a way to waive that cap jason marks ten on your side by the way two hampton road students were killed in the virginia tech massacre lauren mccain was twenty years old the hampton native planned to major in international studies and nicole white also twenty graduated from Smithfield High School. The junior was also majoring in international studies.